What's up, you guys? <coughs> me, 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 me. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Up in my car in the giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Up in my car in the giddy up. What's up, you guys? So she girl April, and I'm back. We about to do this video. This is one of my favorite wig companies. I told you guys, I do have my favorites. There isn't a lot, but listen, if the wig fits, then let's not acquit, hunties. Okay. I'm just saying. This is my first wig. Like, I know you guys are going to probably be like, some of you guys are probably going to say, girl, it's a little bit too pricey. But, hunties, I'm not really sure what your budget is. I don't even know what you got in your bank account. And the wig is going to last you, like, for quite some time. Plus, nobody's even going to know you got on a wig, girl. Sometimes it's worth spending an extra coin or two or three or four. If you have never tried a My First Wig or an RPG show wig, then listen, it's the new year. It's 2020. Give yourself the best gift that you can ever give yourself, which is a lace wig. Like, listen, we'll thank me later. Did send me their new wig with Virgin Malaysian Blunt Cut Bob. It's 18 inches and it is a yakky texture hair. This is a glueless full lace wig. So you guys already know, with a glueless full lace wig, you can part her anywhere and she'll be good to go, girl. 180% density. This is a beginner, lazy, wearer-friendly wig. So you don't need to pluck it. You don't need to bleach it. Girl, you don't got to do nothing. She's already bleached. It does come with an elastic in it. First of all, let's get into the jest and I will show you guys how your wig comes and all that. All right, you guys. So my first wig quality wigs for beginners. Your unit will come in this standard black box and if you do decide to purchase their wig kit for an additional five dollars you will receive a wig carrier bag a rat tail comb a foldable wig stand wig caps two hair clips and bobby pins You'll also receive in the bag their deep oil conditioner which will smooth, moisten, and soften your unit when you decide to wash it. Along with that, for an additional $9, you can also purchase their flyaway tamer which works really great on all units. I especially love it for kinky or yakky texture hair. And just to protect your scalp or your hair, you'll also receive a two-piece wig cap package. And if you're on the road and you decide to bring your wig with you, you will get a easy put together wig stand. Now guys, this is the unit. She's 18 inches. She is a glueless full lace wig and she's in the hair texture of Yaki. Straight out of the box, the hair was already sleek and the only thing that you'll need to do to it is just style her, put her on and cut the lace. You don't need to worry about any type of bleach knots because that will already be done for you. As you guys can tell, the hair is definitely sleek and the ends are not dry or dead on this unit. And since this is a do-nothing unit, the entire frontal portion of the unit has been already bleached for you. So all you basically need to do is just style this unit, cut the lace, put her on and go. Now, let's get into the whole specs of this. A lot of different companies always sell different type of lace, and sometimes they might advertise it as HD or Swiss lace or transparent. But we already know that RPG Show and their sister company, My First Wigs, be having a real deal. We have three different types of lace here. One is the My First Wig lace, and then there are two other companies that I did attach, so that way you guys can see the difference. First of all, I'm going to start off with just any random company this is their lace and I do have every last one of them labeled stapled on the paper girl so this is supposed to be Swiss lace from just a random company I'm not about to throw no names or shade you know no tea so this is their supposedly Swiss transparent lace and so it's not bad it blends you know we could work around this we could definitely work this but it's not so transparent but I'm gonna just put it up some so that way you can pretend like it's on the hairline and it's not really that transparent, but it's still workable. Another just random company. So these are two random companies, you guys. All right. And I'll just compare the two next to each other. Now, this one is also workable. I think it might work a little bit better than the first one that I showed you guys. You know, I think this one blends a little bit better than the first one. And then we're going to put the, the first two together side by side. So this is the very first one that I showed you right here on my left. And this is my right. 
So even though they both are blendable, I want to show you guys my first wig. Now look, first of all, huge difference, okay? Humongous difference. The only thing that you are seeing right now is basically just the line. And this is only because this is the part that's going to be cut off. Once you put the wig on and you have the hairs attached, you're not going to see any type of lace at all. You do not see the lace, which is amazing. Like, I mean, you guys can see where I have it, but once I do like a style comparison, you're definitely going to be amazed. So this is the first one. And I'm just going to put it up to the same spot. Not bad. And here we have the second one. Still not bad. My first wigs. Definitely not bad at all. So, moving on. I went ahead and pressed her. I didn't wash her. I didn't bleach her. I didn't do anything. I did pl pluck a little bit of hairs on the side because everybody's hairline is totally different. But for those of you guys who just don't know how to, you ain't got to worry, girl. So... This is what she looks like after I pressed her. She's really pretty. The hair texture is gorgeous. It's very flowy, and it is a blunt cut, but it's very flowy, okay? All I did was actually just use their actual wax stick to press the hair down and a hot comb. Girl, that's all I really needed to do. Let's just get into Alrighty, this tutorial. Guys, so let's get into this. The unit will come with combs inside. Along with that, there is a stretch panel in the middle and an elastic band. And the first thing you need to do is make sure you clean off your hairline, girl. Okay, so now that we got this wig on, I'm just going to slip these combs into my anchor braids. The wig did come straight out the box perfect. I just slicked the edges down a little bit with my hot comb on my mannequin head. Because, girl, I told you guys them hot combs be scaring a girl for real. Now, make sure you have your tools in hand. I always say get you some clips, but my first wig always has them. And, as you guys can see, yeah, girl. This was the very first time I decided to use this eyebrow trimmer. Okay, it was super sharp. I was kind of scared. I actually recorded this video prior to the RPG show one. So it takes some work, girl. Like, it took me a minute, as you guys can tell. Of course, I did speed through this, but let me tell you guys. If you have not tried using an eyebrow trimmer and this is your first time on cutting the lace, take my advice and just use a small pair of curved scissors because it'll make life much easier. This definitely takes some use to or getting used to, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and customize the wig. It was just a tad bit long or too big for me just a tad bit as you guys can tell i'm just going to part it with my rat tail comb and i'm going to just take my scissors when i show them to you guys but you want to just part it directly above your ear so that way you can cut off any extra lace if it actually falls on your ear or overlapping your ear and i'm just going to repeat that step on the same side this will make your wig fit properly and it will also make it more comfortable versus the lace folding over your ear so as you guys see my ears fit perfectly now to make me some sideburn hairs ladies i'm not making baby hairs in this video i'm just making sideburn hairs because a girl definitely needs them like i need sideburn hairs and right here i'm going to part it no i'm not making baby hairs but i'm parting it as if i was only because i'm going to be taking my got to be glam force hairspray and i'm going to be spraying that in between the hair okay so right onto the part first i'll just take a little bit and spray it down on the inside especially where the sideburns are and then I'll just take the hairspray and spray it in between the part so that way I can adhere my wig you can do this method or you can spray it underneath whichever makes you comfortable this one is actually a lot easier and then all you need to do is take out your blow dryer and just put it on cool and dry your product if you don't have a blow dryer just go ahead and spray a little bit at a time and press it in as you see me here with my rat tail comb Strongly advise you to just use a metal rat tail comb versus a plastic because the plastic ones always seem to get product on them. And make sure that when you're in that area by your ear that you're pressing down very so much. So I'm just going to take my toothbrush and brush away making sure that none of the hairs were stuck down. And if so, all you need to do is take you a baby wipe or a wet washcloth and just wipe away that extra hairspray. Using hairspray is much easier than actual glue. So as you guys can tell, this hairline is very transparent. Okay, duh. Yeah, make sure that you're 
razor is basically on the side where you need to cut. I did spray some of my hairspray on the back on my toothbrush, but I decided to use my Dollar Tree hairstyling mousse to sculpt my baby hairs. Actually, honestly, I went back to the Dollar Tree one because I noticed that with the got to be, certain got to be mousses, it's just a little bit harder to sculpt them because it seems to lift the wig. So yes, Dollar Tree Salon Selective. And I'm gonna just go ahead and sculpt the hairline a little bit. I'm not making baby hairs. I'm just making it, you know, a little bit more curved so that way it doesn't look blunt and straight. And I just used the mousse for that. So this is their wax stick and it's really good for pressing your hair, especially if you have kinky or yakky hair texture, but it just melts all the hair. Now when I say melt, I don't mean literally melt, but it makes the transition of hot combing or flat ironing a lot easier. And it also keeps the flyaways away. And we just take a moment to look at this part. Girl, thank you hair gods. Thank you Jesus. Well, I am not a huge bob fan, but I really don't categorize when it's this long a bob. Like, to me, this is definitely not a bob. However, that's what they put it as, and listen, that's what it is. 18 inches, you could do like a bunch of different things with this wig instead of just wearing it blunt straight. Listen, this is it out the box, so this is definitely a do nothing wig. Like, when I say do nothing, you definitely are gonna have to put it on like it's not putting it on for you. She's really pretty. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't even use any pressed powder. It blends really natural. I wouldn't say do anything. This is like, you don't have to do nothing. You don't even see the lace. I don't even have any baby hairs. This makes me feel very confident, like, about wearing a lace wig. Like, I mean, listen, I can make them all blend if I choose to, but when you have one that you don't have to do so much work, then that's when it's like, thank you, hair god. It fits really snug. It's a glueless full lace. You don't have to get a full lace. You can get a lace frontal. So on that note, I love you guys. All the info is down below. Let me know what you think of her. She's really cute. I love you guys, and I will see you in a soon-to-come video.